The common five-lined skink is anything but common in New England. It's a southern species which is found only in the warmest and the low elevation sites in some of the more southerly states of our area. When young, the five-lined skink has five light lines on a black background and a bright blue tail. As it matures, that blue tail disappears and the contrast between the black and the white becomes less and less as it matures. The males become almost a solid brown, dusky brown color, but breeding males will have uh, a red throat or red underneath the chin. It's not a very big lizard. This lizard might get seven or eight inches here. Uh, and it would be found then in those microhabitats that are really warm. So they would be open, rocky, ledgy, south or southwest facing areas where this, uh, this lizard can bask a lot, lots of dead and down trees, and often water nearby. Uh, the skink overwinters down in these crevices or down in these rocks and we don't have a lot of information on how far this species really moves. So in terms of conservation threats, I can't say that I've ever seen a road killed skink. Um, mainly the habitat in which it lives is not the sort of habitat that we would be likely to develop, steep and rocky. So as long as we maintain some undeveloped ledge, rocky areas, keep some uh, vegetation, tree, natural vegetation on the tops of these cliffs, keep some open areas uh, along these cliffs for the skink to bask, it should be able to, to survive in these small pockets of habitat where we now have it.